Hi, I'm Chris Chamberlain. I'm the uh, brand manager for NSP. Uh, we're standing here with the 1710 Unlimited board that Travis Grant won the 2015 Molokai to Oahu. Uh, standing right beside me is the, the Shaper. It's DC 1710. This is DC. There you go. That wasn't on the boat. Yeah, awesome. It's, uh, it's like a five hours of tuition of um, how to paddle Molokai. Um, it's probably one of the best things that I've ever done. Um, seeing Travis paddle and uh, the endurance he has, and never seen him as fit as what he was in this paddle, and uh, it was absolutely amazing. It was a really good time. You, you were telling me yesterday too about the uh, when he was you, know, you were on the boat. It was all the little things that, that he'd done, you know, from the... the, the yeah, spraying the water on him and uh, his nutrition, you know, like I'm a Gatorade person, he's got all these goos and taking all these different gels and, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a nail, you know, he's a total athlete. It's amazing to see. So what did the collaboration process, what was that like working with them to develop the shape and how long did that take? Yeah, well, um, him and Elaine worked on this a lot more than I did. Um, they um, they did two boards last year and they came a little bit late and uh, Travis ended up writing another board for Bello and um, this year the board's got here on time he's written the board loved the board the, it was a, it was it was amazed with the situation and the way the board run and um, it was really suited to the conditions this year and um, it really stood out from the rest you know winning by 16 minutes is pretty awesome effort I thought. It's cool. The cool thing for us too is that we're all from you know, the same place in Australia, Travis and Dale and Elaine and myself, we all, we all paddle around Corumban, just a tiny little place I mean, and it's a real hotbed of stand up paddle talent. I think you know maybe last year or the year before it was six of the top ten in the battle of the paddle were from one little place. And we're talking a really small population but ultra competitive so all of these boards you know kind of come from that the DNA, you know, from the rest of the range to this board as well, and so you know, Elaine works on the, the sort of the real. He's a Frenchman, so he has a full, you know, methodic process of design and you know, refine design, refine. Dale's you know, been a surfboard shaper for 25 years, was a pro surfer before that, so he knows how to swing a planer, you know. And uh, together, we we're kind of pretty stoked to be, you know, four guys from the Rumbling that have sort of. Uh, done something and made the whole world stand up and take notice, you know, so. And the first production board to win Molokai. Absolutely, yeah. Hey, do you want to walk me through the board a little bit? Just uh, talk about the yeah, shape? Yeah, well, 1710 by 24 and a half inches wide. Um, the rock is progressive rocker going through. Um, really designed to get up and over the waves. Um, Got a bit of edge down through the tail, um, slightly sunken deck. Got our new rudder system that we've been playing around with, you know, which has worked out really well. Um, rails are really forgiving, but you know, like 1710 by 24 and a half, it's always going to look like a bit of a gun. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been working out really well. But definitely got the roll bottom. Mm -hmm. the Travis's trait, you know, he's always looking to all the experience he's got with the OC1, he really wants to make sure he's got that real, real bottom, which is totally different than what everyone else is going for. No concaves. Yep, so so the primary stability on something like that, it would it would roll more, but the secondary, I mean, it's not going to go. It's yeah, 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 you, ro you roll so much, like, you got to understand this guy never fell off once in this whole race of five hours. And it was a hard slog and it was really, really hot. And we're hosing down the water and stuff. And uh, yeah, um, to ride this for five hours is just, and then catch a couple of six to eight foot waves at the end. Like he, the picture that you see is not the biggest wave he caught. The biggest wave he caught was outside. That was halfway down the point. So you can just imagine how big that wave was. It was amazing. Wow. You can imagine too, we're in Australia, you know, trying to Dale's on the boat in Hawaii. We're in Australia and we can see that he's out in lead, you know, with the, the web coverage. Elaine and I are sitting there just holding our breath that he's actually going to make it through the surf zone with a board in one piece, you know. And then, you know, at the end of the day, we end up seeing this photo and we're like, oh God, that's what he took to. Because, you know, any, any one of these boards, it's a real risk taking off on a wave of that size because it could end your whole race. So, uh, 
him, for him to have the balls like he could have easily jumped off the back of that. He was 15 minutes ahead, but he took it on and he's come out with probably one of the most photographed. Most exposed photos, yeah. The most exposed photos around. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, the board's insane. Looks like this collaboration's really work, uh, yeah. working out great and uh, really excited to see some more of these boards in the lineup and around the U.S. and uh, getting on them and riding them. Thanks a lot. Thank you.